We've been big fans of the Honda Pilot SUV since it was brand new back in 2003. The first generation was a big hit, but the second generation took on a lot of SUV clues that frankly were out of step with its on-road talents. Well, there's a new version for 2016, and it's making a big U-turn. The question is, is that big U-turn enough to overtake the Ford Explorer and the Nissan Pathfinder? Hi, I'm Marty Paget here for The Car Connection. We're gonna take a first drive today in the 2016 Honda Pilot. The Pilot is Honda's biggest crossover SUV. It has three rows of seats, a big V6 with available all-wheel drive, and that makes it a rival for wagons like the Nissan Pathfinder, the Chevy Traverse, the Toyota Highlander, and especially the Ford Explorer. The Pilot might be the freshest and prettiest of all of those vehicles. For 2016, it's adopted a much more rounded shape that's softer and far more appealing than before. The side view is elegant with gentle sculpting and creases and a beautiful balance of glass to metal. It's as if the Chrysler Pacifica and Subaru Forester got together and had some really pretty babies. Inside, the new Pilot couldn't be more different from the old blocky, plasticky design. It's very well finished with elements from the current Accord and some touches from the CRV. On some versions, there's a huge panoramic roof that opens up the cabin to a flood of natural light. The Pilot's always been known for its versatility and, well, it's in full effect in this generation. There are three rows of seats for seven or eight passengers, depending on how you get it configured. In front, these seats are just about ideally shaped. They have a nice support underneath the leg and on the lower lumbar, and a nice armrest that's adjustable. Also, the floor of the Pilot is about an inch lower than before, so it's easier for older drivers and smaller drivers to get in. This time around, the Pilot is definitely adult-friendly in the second row. Not only can you get a version with two captain's chairs, you can also get a version that has a little tray table and a couple of cup holders here for adult beverages. And the seat back reclines so you can take a long nap on a long interstate drive. In the back, the third row seat is accessed by folding forward the second row seat at the push of a button, a really nice touch. A step-in room to get back here is a little slim, but the surprising thing is that in the third row of the pilot, two adults can sit back here with plenty of head and knee room. Now, underneath the leg, there's not so much support because the seat cushion sits pretty low to the ground, but still, it's one of the most useful vehicles that we know of, given that two full-size adults can sit in the third row. Cargo space is abundant in the new Pilot 2. There are cup holders everywhere and a console big enough for an iPad. The third row folds down for a flat cargo floor, and this cargo well behind the third row, well, it can hold an 82-quart cooler, so there's Capri Sun for everybody. I mentioned the better interior here, and just looking all around, it's easy to see the soft touch surfaces and styling details that have transformed the Pilot. It's much, much more luxurious than before, even in base trims. So much so, we think the Elite could compare well against even vehicles that are much pricier, like the Buick Enclave. Performance from the Pilot's updated V6 is strong. It now has 280 horsepower, and it can be teamed with a six-speed automatic transmission, but if you buy an Elite model, you get a nine-speed automatic instead. Front-wheel drive is standard, all-wheel drive is an option, and the Pilot can be outfitted with a traction management system that can help it pull out of mud pits or snow with ease. It can also tow up to 5,000 pounds. The Pilot pulls strongly with its new 9-speed automatic. There's some surging in downshifts as it pulls to a stop, but in sport mode, it's an energetic performer with a great engine note. I don't think there's a plusher ride or more relaxed steering in this size class. The Pilot feels mature and luxurious at the wheel. The all-wheel drive system has torque vectoring, and that lets it turn in more sharply in corners than you might be prepared for. It's a little at odds with the softly sprung ride. You'll get used to it, but you might be just as happy with the composed front-wheel drive version. Fuel economy is as high as 23 miles per gallon combined with the new Pilot. It's among the best in class thanks to 300 pounds of weight loss, cylinder deactivation technology, and stop-start. Safety ratings should be best in class. Honda is aiming for top safety pick plus ratings from the IIHS, and the Pilot offers blind spot monitors, a lane watch camera, a multi rear view camera, and forward collision brake warnings with automatic braking. Standard features include Bluetooth with audio streaming, touchscreen audio, power features, cruise control, and air conditioning. As you move up in price, you can add satellite radio, leather trim, a DVD entertainment system, and heated front and ventilated seats. So what's the bottom line with the 2016 Honda Pilot? Well, we think it's a smooth and very capable family wagon that raises the bar for refinement. I'm Marty Paget. thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.